Hello everyone. Let us move on to the next experiment of Digital Electronics Lab. That is the simplification and implementation of logic expressions. So our first aim is to simplify the function f of abc is equal to sigma m3467 in SOP form and to realize the function using basic gates and NAND gates only. So we will do the simplification part here and we will do the implementation using Proteus software. So since there are three variables over here, we have drawn the three variable care map. Now this corresponds to cell number 0, this is cell number 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6 and this is 7. So let us do the mapping. So we have to put 1 in place of 3, 4, 6 and 7. So here it is 1, here it is 1, here 1, 1. So now let us map the adjacent cells with 1's. So mapping will be like this. We can map these two cells together and we can map these two adjacent cells together. So this corresponds to this is A bar B bar, this is A bar B, this is A B, this is A B bar and this is C bar and C. So this corresponds to here A is common and C bar. So this is A C bar and here in these two cells B is common and C. So it is B C. So a simplified logical expression will be F is equal to A C bar plus B C. So this is the corresponding truth table. So it is, uh, so the output is 1 corresponding to 3, 4, 6 and 7. So uh, it is shown over here. So this is 3, this is 4, this is 6 and this is 7. So the output is 1. So now next thing is to, we have to realize this using basic gates. So since the function is a c bar plus b c so f is a c bar plus b c first we have to realize this using basic gates that realization is shown over here and next is we have to realize this using NAND gates so in order to realize an SOP expression using NAND gates what we have to do is we have to replace all the basic gates with NAND gates that is shown over here so this is the simplification part. Now we'll do this implementation part of this function in the Proteus software. Now we'll do the realization part. That is the realization of SOP expression. So we have got the expression as f is equal to a c bar or b c. So in the big devices, I have given the keywords as and. So if I'm giving the keyword as and, I will get the and gate over here and double clicking that will come over there. Similarly, from this keyword section, I have taken the LED blue, logic toggle, NAND, NOT and OR. And now we are going to do the implementation. So for that, I'm first taking the logic toggle for giving the inputs. So first input is A, the next input shown here is C. Now I'm taking a NOT gate, the C is complemented. So I'm connecting that over here. Now we are taking an AND gate. Now I am taking the AND gate and I am placing that over here and I am connecting that just left click. So this is A C bar. Now next is B C. So for that we need the next AND gate. So logic toggle. I am giving that over here. That is B. And we already have C here. So I am taking a connection from here. So this is C. So uh, I am right clicking here and in the edit properties I am giving this name as A. This is the input A and right clicking edit properties and giving this as C. Here right clicking edit properties I am giving it as B. Now we have to give the two outputs to an OR gate as the input to an OR gate. So this is our OR gate. 
So I'm taking the output of this AND gate and connecting as the input to the OR gate. Now the output is given to an LED. So I'm taking this LED and I'm connecting that to here. And we have to give the ground also for that. I'm taking the terminal mod and I'm choosing ground. I have to just take the ground from there and I have to connect here. Okay, so now our circuit diagram is complete. What we have to do is we have to verify it using this truth table. Uh, our function was sigma m3467. So let us verify that. So for that we have to run the simulation. So press the play, play button at the left end bottom. So now the ABC is 0. So the output is also 0. Now we are making C1001. Now the output is again 0. 0, 1, 0. The output 0, 1, 1. The output is 1. 0, 1, 0. The output is 0. Okay, it is correct. So for 0, 0, 0. The output is 0. For 0, 0, 1. The output is 0. For 0, 1, 0. B is 1. So 0, 1, 0. The output is again 0. And for 0, 1, 1. B and C is 1. The output is high. And for 1, 0, 0. That is A is high and B and C are low. The output is again 1. Now 1, 0, 1. So uh, A is 1 and C is 1. The output is again 0. Next is 1, 1, 0. So A is 1 and B is 1. The output is high. Next 1, 1, 1. The output is high. So we have verified the truth table also. Now we will see the implementation using NAND gates only. So uh, let us choose the NAND gate. So for that I am choosing the command and mode. So I am taking the NAND gate. Placing that over here. Again I need one more NAND gate. I am placing it over here. Then another NAND gate. I am placing it over here. And another NAND gate. I am placing it over here. So now let us give the logic toggle. So first one is A. I am keeping that over here. Next is C. And another one is B. Now the connections. So I am shorting this to inputs. And I am giving the output to LED. And in the terminals mode, I am selecting the ground. So now let us uh, verify this using the truth table. So I am going to run the simulation. So for 0, 0, 0. And I have not, I am just stopping this and I am naming the inputs as A, B and C. So this is A. Okay, A is already in use, so I have to kill. So if I'm giving A over here, this A disappears. That is no problem. Uh, so here I'm giving C. And here I'm giving B. Okay, now let us do the uh, simulation. So I am running the simulation. So for 0, 0, 0, the output is 0. 
for 0, 0, 1, C is 1, the output is 0. Now for 0, 1, 0, the output is 0. For 0, 1, 1, the output is high. And for 1, 0, 0, here it is 1, 0, 0, the output is high. Next is 1, 0, 1, the output is low. 1, 1, 0, the output is high and for 1, 1, 1 also the output is high. So we have verified the truth table also.